New prescription charges for medical card holders come into force from today. For the first time since the medical card scheme was introduced in 1972, patients will have to pay for their treatment. The 50 cent charge was announced in the last budget. Our finance correspondent Brian O'Donovan has the details. We're here in Conifree's Pharmacy on Pierce Street in Dublin City Centre. It's a very busy spot over the last few hours. Lots of customers coming and going here all morning. Many of them medical card holders and many of them unhappy about this new 50 cent levy that's going to be charged. That's 50 cent on every item of medicine they get, even if they're on a medical card. This uh, levy was first announced in last year's budget, but it's only coming into force today. Now it's up to the pharmacists to charge this levy. Many of them not particularly happy about that. Tomás Conifree is the pharmacist here. Tomás, first off, one of your uh, bugbears about this new issue is that there is actually no exemption for certain vulnerable groups. Yes, for homeless people and people in nursing homes, they have to pay this charge. And I know we have one homeless man in particular, and it's going to be quite challenging for him to actually pay because he gets a lot of inhalers, gets a lot of, lot of different medication. Also, nursing homes as well, I, I, I think they should have been exempted. Now, the Pharmacists Union also pointing out today that in other countries, this fee has actually already been abolished. Yes, um, in, I know Northern Ireland and in Wales it, it's been gotten rid of, so I, I don't understand why they went ahead with it. I, for somebody said to me that the amount of money it takes to actually implement it, they won't even get back. So I, I just don't know why they went ahead with it. Thank you very much for joining us, Tomás. Now, it should be said that earlier on today, the HSE has issued a statement on this issue. They are pointing out that uh, this uh, new levy is capped at €10 euro a month for individuals or families, and they're also saying that certain groups are exempt. These include children in care and certain methadone users. A man in his 30s and a woman in her 20s have been arrested in connection with the kidnapping of a bank official and former Kilkenny hurler Adrian Ronan. The Tiger raid took place in Kilkenny last November when the Ronan family were held hostage during a bank raid. The two were arrested yesterday.